was expecting much more from him but this seemed to be a little one dimensional and traditional in the storytelling approach so this to me is the weakest story here <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Navish. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review the movie Power Kathai Girl which has released on Netflix. This is a Tamil anthology film which is directed by four amazing directors Sudha Kongara, Gautam Menon, Vetri Maran and Vignesh Sivan and it is out there for you guys to watch. So if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. Today we will be covering each and every segment which is like reviewing four films all together. So definitely keep watching till the very end. But let us begin with the overall review of of this movie this movie is based on the theme of honor killings caste creed gender inequalities things like that put together and of course bringing four directors together a second anthology this year from the tamil film industry the first one was putam pudu kalai which i've already reviewed on my channel so do check that out and based on honor killings is a very unique theme you know we've not seen this we've seen a bunch of anthologies in bollywood maybe even in other industries including putam pudu kalai but this one is based on a particular theme so it gives it that extra edge of creativity it is very interesting to watch because it has four different directors with four different styles and their takes on honor killing or the theme that they have picked in their particular story and to deliver it in less than 30 minutes is a very key skill so now let us get so i think that you know before diving in again i think that this generally is a solid effort it is worth a watch and you should check it out because of the quality the content the creativity of the filmmakers that being said let us begin with the review of thangam directed by sudha kongara which is the first story in this movie starring kalidas jairam and shantanu bhagiraj this is a perfect start to the movie because it feels like a complete film the balance of emotions the drama the lighter parts the good music everything is a great start to this anthology and i think sudha kongara also started her started the anthology in putam pudu kale with kalidas jairam so this is a second outing i absolutely dislike that one but i really enjoyed this particular version of course you know not getting into any story details here but the performances by kalidas jairam and shantanu bagiraj are absolutely brilliant i enjoyed it thoroughly they are very nuanced very character oriented both of them sort of disappear in their roles especially of course kalidas jairam who has the key role here as satar he completely disappears in that role of trying to play a transgender character who has dreams and goals and ambitions of you know doing a surgery moving out of the town embracing his personality things like that and we are introduced to the emotions of such a character the emotions of people around them that support them the emotions of people who do not support them so it is a very sensitive sort of storytelling with different elements thrown in there you know religion gender honor killing stuff like that and it was very very delightful to watch i feel like this was a very complete film that met the mark it did not really do much more than expectation but at the same time it lived up to the hype and expectations that we all had the music is also brilliant in this particular segment and the song tangame tangame is definitely going to stay with you for a long time moving on to vignesh sivan section which is the second in this particular anthology starring kalki keklan anjali and padam kumar sir this was a sort of humorous take a sort of witty take on the whole subject and it had dark humor elements to it and sort of a weird twist and turn to it this for me was the most creative part because it's very easy to tell a one dimensional story that can be tragic dark depressing based on honor killings and all these themes but this one twisted it on its head and made it seem a more humorous take or a you know sort of satirical take or a sort of hopeful take if one may look at it that way in a positive light so you don't really feel super uncomfortable you don't really feel sad you don't really feel those emotions that these other stories might make you feel but you're addressing the subject in the exact manner as which it should be addressed for the theme of this movie so i think the creativity shown by vignesh sivan is worth applauding and worth watching performances in this one as well are brilliant of course i think padam kumar sir's casting is amazing he says holds the film together the ending is a little silly when they say what happens to these characters i would have avoided that uh, but the background music i think it's by anirudh ravichandar also i know he did the music i don't know if he did the bgm but the best bgm in this movie comes from this particular story so So, you know big credit to anirudh ravichandar they are awesome um there's also a bunch of supporting actors here that did a terrific job then we move to the third story which is directed by the one and only gvm and also stars him alongside legendary actress simran this is 
to me the weaker story because it explores some of the darker realities more directly but also does not really go anywhere with the plot it's very cliched in its telling it's very typical so it was really a letdown the only thing i'll say about this particular one is that gvm performed very well and of course the amazing and outstanding performance was by simran who really was an unpredictable character who had his mental emotions going on you know storm in the head and it was a lot of ups and downs for a character and that unpredictability gave the audience the edge to watch this and you know go through to the end to see you know what happens to these characters so yes of course well enacted and definitely well delivered but not creative enough especially coming from someone like gvm who has that personality to deliver new age storytelling new age sort of uh, vibes and throw some creative content out there he's been part of a creative project as an actor himself so who's expecting much more from him but this seemed to be a little one dimensional and traditional in the storytelling approach so this to me is the weakest story here then we move on to of course the most awaited one which is directed by vetri marun sir starring prakash raj and sai pallavi incredible performances by both of them it just amazing how they have performed you know very difficult characters and situations they have been put in in the movie very you know deep dark telling of this honor killing theme by vetri marun just zooming into a particular moment of time and a situation which you know could be in real life could be spread out on 5 to 10 minutes and it's zooming into every second of those 10 to 15 minutes of an incident and not really going anywhere no big action cuts no big editing effects no big background music just paused and zooming into the characters and their experience in that 10 to 15 minutes of very dark reality and i think that is what makes this a unique movie um the house in which it is shot has been given a hitchcockian sort of feel where the house and the objects get a sort of life themselves and a character themselves and they add and to the haunting of the plot so i really like the direction of this movie the writing and so the sort of final screenplay of the movie however could have been better because it was a little slow it didn't really break a lot of boundaries or barriers in terms of creativity on the screenplay or the story element but the performances are what lift this particular story up and the unique directorial style of vetri marun sir is what gives this a good edge it is definitely the darkest of the four stories the most realistic brutal one with a lot of emotion to it and a lot of you know vagueness to it so power carnival overall though is a very very entertaining watch it is very quality high quality content that we need we deserve from all these ott series from all these cast and from these directors so definitely go check it out i'm going with four stars i loved it i enjoyed it for what it is and i'm waiting for a season 2 if there ever will be on a different theme and i love these anthology films so keep them coming i hope you like this review like comment share subscribe and keep watching for much much more